Oh, hey, Chara. I did. I did just eat a booger. Cause you know what? I paid my fuck. I paid my fucking taxes. I'm a grown ass man, and I'm in a loving relationship with a woman who loves me. So you know what? If I eat a booger absentmindedly, like I'm a fucking seven year old boy with undiagnosed autism, fucking judge me. I don't give a damn. I regret absolutely nothing. I accept your castigation with glee and joy. Don't have page for it at hard time playing Dark Souls. That's fair, Kilgore, and I respect that. I genuinely do gain real enjoyment out of the Elden Ring and the Sun from Soft games. I think what made me like uh, the other FromSoft games so much was Elden Ring was my first. Dark Souls was how do I gather the patience? Um I gather the patience. So here's how I kind of explain why FromSoft games are so you know, why I enjoy FromSoft games so much. I grew up in the PS1, PS2 era. And as a five, six, seven, eight year old boy, and one of the things that, you know, being a kid with, you know, thing is your parents will buy you a game saying, oh, my kid likes this movie. Let, they have a video game version of it. Let me buy this for my kid. So I ended up playing a lot of shitty shovelware games. And because I played so many shitty shovelware games, what ended up happening is, is that. I ultimately, um, you know, would beat my head against a brick wall because it was the only game I had to play, or one of the handful of games I had to play because my parents were teachers, and, you know, I ended up enjoying, you know, like, the, the, like, like after all of that frustration, once I finally got through it and figured out, like, how to actually beat it, whether it's because of bad game design or because it was harder part of it it needed to be or because they made it, it was an era where they made things deliberately hard so kids, so like, you know, kids would get as much time out of their games as possible. Um, the feeling of euphoria that I got for beating those shitty shovelware games and, you know, despite how the, that frustration I felt immediately transitioned into, you know, pure dopamine and joy. And so, why am I bringing all that up? Well, when it comes to the FromSoft games, when it comes to your Dark Souls, your Bloodborne, your Elden Rings, that frustration you feel over and over and over again, the moment you, you beat that boss and you get past that hurdle, you know, it is the adult version of that frustration transitioning and turning into um, excitement, joy, and happiness. Uh, and relief, specifically relief. It is the. I don't necessarily have the patience for Elden Ring and other from some games. I am a very impatient person, but there is a part in the back of my head that knows that if I persevere and I keep doing, no matter how frustrated I am, the moment I'm done, the level of relief, the the, the feeling of relief that I feel will feel akin to a high. So. It is, I don't know if it's maybe the necessarily the most healthy way of like getting joy out of video games, but there is a technical aspect of the FromSoft games and from Soft and Souls-like games that are um, quite good. And uh, I'm just brain damaged enough to uh, enjoy them for what they are. I hope that, uh, hope that uh, explains it for you, Gilbert. Yeah. That explains a lot. I grew up with Sega, so then PS1 moved into more MMO FPS. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. I'm a, um, I'm a uh, MMO player myself. I play Elder Scrolls Online, and you know, like, you know, what, there's a there's there's a struggle of like not being able to beat certain enemies, and then once you finally figure out how to make a build properly, you're able to merge most things in the game that aren't group content. So you know, that I hope my explanation explains things. Mother. Oh my god. Marka, a curse upon thee. I hate it. Have I made every no single second a curse of that? Of Mesmer, my clan's suffering. Their pain. 
Oh, I hated it. I felt. I hated all Do of that. Do you understand now? You I like finding things for you, Lady Leda, her allies, and the forager brute. Things bring joy to all. I like for you things. I like more. He's a good guy. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, this is my favorite character. I will protect him with all of my love, all of my life. And if anything happens, I will burn everything to the ground in anger and then kill myself. Not the naked jars. Is that what Alexander looks like when he's going in the buff? God damn! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Loretta ain't got shit on this man. Holy fuck, what was that? How do you access how do you access the DLC? Say off? We're about to find out. I know for a fact that you have to beat Moog, Lord of Blood, in Mogwin Palace, which also is supposed to supposedly be the entrance, and you have to beat Scar Scourge, uh, Star Scourge Radon in the Kaelian Wilds. So those are two bosses that I know that we do know off rip that you have to beat to access the DLC. From there, people hypothesize. We don't actually know yet because I'm still loading to get into the game. That the way to access uh, the DLC will be through Mikola's Cocoon. Hi, post production Evan here. That's exactly how you access the DLC. In Mogwin Palace, in the boss room of the Lord of Blood. Oh, um, Beth, then let me, um,. Let me, if, if, here's the thing, um, I under, can I can I give you a low budget like all you need is just your cell phone and you're ready to go. One of the streams that I used to do sometimes when I don't want to set up everything is I literally will just point my phone at my TV or my monitor and pull up the game and just play and have the game like you don't need to have your face on it you don't need to have a you just need your you just need your cell phone and that's all you need. I'll be completely honest with you, dude. If you want, if you want to start streaming, that's completely uh, able. That, that's completely um. That's completely available to you. You can, uh, you, you know. And also, one of the things that you can start doing are these. And if you do those streams on YouTube, you get a ton of people coming in off off rip. Um, one of the one of the big things that YouTube has done is added vertical streams and stuff, specifically to the shorts feed and ha and this has in turn fed in a whole bunch of stuff like, uh, like the ability to find new viewers and stuff within the shorts feed so twitch don't get me wrong it's awesome and it, it is a perfectly fine platform to use but one of the things that um can be really really valuable here is the fact that you um can just do it do that on youtube and you can do it straight off of your phone you don't need any like really big equipment and, and, and I know you said time was a big issue. These vertical streams are perfect for people who have like an hour or less to stream. Because, you know, unless because like unless you're like able to get like a, a, a critical mass of people watching and staying around consistently, you'll get like, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen people hang out for about like 15, 20 minutes, and then people are gonna move on and keep scrolling forward because that's what that's how it functions. And that's a really solid way to get subscribers and view time and get yourself in the algorithm, all without um, all without having to do all of the rigmarole of like trying to do a streaming schedule. It allows you to dip your toe into and start doing streaming as a hobby without um, all without like inconveniencing you and making things more difficult for you in ways like that um, you know that still give you time to do your handle your responsibilities, go to work, and do all that stuff. Now, the vow will be honored, 
And my lord brother's soul will return. So that he may be my consort. It's Radon in his prime. That's fucking terrifying. They, they, they really dusted off the old animation set for the catacomb skeletons from Dark Souls 1 and said, get fucked. Holy shit. We are in actual hell. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the suck. Because we are fucking in hell. Holy God. But, um... Yeah. No, I just thought I'd share this with you because, like, I know that, like, you, like, I know you, when you code stuff in the front end, you do it in pure HTML, which is fucking weird. But, so, I just thought... Oh, like, yeah. I just... That's think. another thing. Um, I have another package in here called EJS. It's like a HTML renderer type of thing. Mm -hmm. You can code JavaScript in HTML, passing in, like, node functions and shit. Don't you just use React, my brother in Christ. <laughs> I don't even fucking oh. like React, but if you don't want to touch HTML ever, just use React. Just use React. It was I don't like TypeScript. It. Uh, it's not TypeScript. Yeah. Angular is TypeScript. React is just JS. It got like some like you know bullshit Ain't, like React specific stuff. Both of them are for me, man. Uh, <laughs> dog, I I promise. I promise you, I promise you, if you, like, you, you don't, I was the same way I want, I want to just code in, in HTML and JavaScript and CSS, and then I discovered my first framework, and dog, I was lost, but now I'm found. I promise you, it doesn't have to be Angular. You can do view, you can do view, but like, oh, Lord, bro, I promise the grass is greener on the other side. I promise. What was that? What the fuck was that? He's our last good shot. Who? Surin Surin. Who's that? The guy who assassinated our... <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> uh, I think the, um... But last I heard, didn't the uh, dude who uh, ult tried to assassinate Reagan like publish an album and like sold out concerts and shit after yep. that? Yep. I think that's so fucking yep. funny. Uh, Reagan is Don Hinckley. That's right, Don Hinckley Jr. <gasps> you know, God, if he that motherfucker hadn't missed, bro, he had one fucking job. One fucking job, and he fucking missed. 50 years of, of slow fascist decline in the United States could have been spared 
if that motherfucker had done a couple range days before going to the fucking Reagan rally. You see that RFK interview? With Jenk? <laughs> Is his voice not one of the craziest things in this fucking planet? I... I don't want to be ableist. But the American people are ableist. Like, listen, if fucking AOC is probably not going to win because most Americans are so fucking judgy, they're not going to get past her teeth and shit. There's no fuck. Like, I don't fucking care if if RFK thinks that he it doesn't have access to baby boomer voters and shit, and that's why he's not going to win the election. It's 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 because he, he it, it's like. It's like putting your ear to a fucking cheese grater and pushing back and forth. Like, I... It, like, yeah. that entire interview between that between Jank and him was a fucking train wreck, to be sure. But, like... There's a reason I don't ever cover, like, RFK on, like, like, like on my YouTube channel. Like, ever. Like, not just because, like, it's, like, you know. It's just, he, he's, he's just so unbelievably bad to listen to. His voice is awful. And it sucks to say that, but, yeah. like, like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure, like, in, 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 you know, in person to person, he's a, he's a, he's a cool guy to talk to, but, like, dog like i don't like, think so either uh, uh, american americans are like you're like i i don't know anybody that's going to like if you want if, if people if the rich and powerful want mother want a motherfucker to like not like to get to completely get the american people disassociated with what's going on all they got to do is make his ass president and then just play him as much as humanly possible that will get everybody to fucking stop paying attention to politics because they're like i don't want to hear this motherfucker anymore he sounds like he sounds like um uh fuck I I actually not I'm not gonna say it but that's wait that's too fucking far I think but yeah that that interview was a fucking train wreck and a neurological game. disorder um specific causes are unknown I mean you know what I'm you're looking at the basal ganglia might have been, been his fucking might have been that fucking worm that ate a piece of his brain and died <laughs> that that that's why he's got that, 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 that's got, got the only part of his brain that any nutrition <laughs> uh that 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 like that's the fucking that like that like, like listen maybe that's the reason he talks the way he does like he sound like he sound like one of those smokers that has to use like a fucking device on their vocal cords like just talk like what is that you rap bastard get the fuck away from my 599 chick 599 chicken special uh get where's my newport 100 fuck you you rap bastard like that shit Ugh. Yeah. rfk jr speaks candidly about his gravelly voice if i could sound better i would <laughs> Mood. I'm, sh I'm what a sure he would. What a fucking mood, brother. I'm sure what a he fucking mood. <laughs> <laughs>
What the fuck happened? What do you mean inappropriate activity detected? The fuck happened? Did I join somebody's fucking world? Did I join somebody's fucking world? And like... What the fuck? What the actual fuck? What just happened? Did I just get banned from using those feet? Please tell me this was a quirk. Please, for the love of God, tell me that this was a quirk of the system. I beg. I beg, I beg, I beg. Because if I join somebody else's world as an invader and got insta-banned for connecting to their shit, I'm genuinely going to lose my fucking mind. I am restarting the game, and I'm praying that that was just a quirk of the fucking system, something weird happened, whatever. But if I, I swear to God, I lose this, like, the ability to go online because I connected to somebody else's thing, I'm going to have a fucking connection. Like, I will be the person to at from software 50 billion times on Twitter. Oh my god, I swear to god, if, if, because I have a level 600 and 4 character. I plan on maxing this character out. The only way to effectively get enough ruins without having to beat the game twice to gain enough ruins to the level up requirements in the higher 600s is literally like seven to eight million ruins you on average if you're lucky get about four to five million ruins just by beating the game as fast as possible and that's if you don't fuck up i swear to god and all that is holy that if i boot this game up and i am not able to connect to the online server like i I I am going I am going to lose my shit. I am genuinely actually going to lose my shit. Cuz I here's the thing, it's like I installed the seamless co-op mod and stuff. And that's all fine and well and good, but like I don't have it turned on. I have it turned off on my main file. It's only on the convergence mod, which is a completely separate file thing. I like this is a clean file structure. I swear to God, if this shit... Oh, boy. I... Thank God, man, because I was about to lose my ever-loving shit. Oh, that upset me so much. Oh, that upset me so much. I... God, do people just... Like, why do y'all motherfuckers need to cheat? Why do you feel compelled the need for this? Jesus Christ, I had my ass stressed. Ugh. Well, at the very well, dilemma solved. Thank God, I was. That just took about five years off of my lifespan. Thank you for that, Elvin. I appreciate that. Yeah, I really gotta climb that motherfucker, don't I? God damn it. Oh! Well that, that, that's certainly a bug. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, just a heads up, Chara, I am in VC. While the game loads up, I'm gonna go take a massive shit real quick, because I have the, uh, gut biome of a trash compactor, so I will be right back, uh, with Elden Ring while it loads. Ooh, you an ugly motherfucker.
face with the floating head and do it. Yes. It is an amazing joke, Evan. It is an incredible joke. I cannot watch it on stream, otherwise uh, uh, HBO will, will send a, uh, um, a death squad after me. No, you can watch this, because this is a short source. I fucking hate, uh, I, I fucking hate, you know, I, like, I was like, eh, I, was I, like, oh. I, I, I find him somewhat, um, endearing, okay. Who, Bill Maher? No, God, no. Um, Andrew Saltz. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Never mind. I understand why it is I like him. It's because he's my type. He's a fucking complete dick. <laughs> he's also a skinny white boy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's he's a very good looking skinny white boy. Um watch that. No. Oh. Round two electric. This is this a new game or is this new DLC? For which game? What you're playing. This is DLC. I mean, it might as well be a new fucking game with the amount of content in it, but... Cool. So yeah, you should watch that short. I promise you, it's only like, a uh, 15 seconds. Mostly because I want to see you crack up. Oh, you're Damn, using Panzer Kai. Oh. That's what you were doing. Yeah, yeah. So essentially, um, I found like this great sword I got is so fucking fun. It's so much fun. Nice. I love it so much. It's it's it it it. I had to kill a, I had to kill a boss for it in the new DLC. But it's it's it's. I, I'm loving it. Uh, it's, uh, a bit. Yeah, shorts. I got a 10 minute video. No, I, I, I should have sent you, uh. Now nah, you sent me the uh, 10 minute John from, uh, uh what was it called? Uh, no, something. honey. I I am looking at the message right now. It's. it's oh, I'm. A short. Oh, I'm stupid. I didn't scroll down. My apologies. <laughs> I'm thinking. I, it says it stent. How? How are you not seen? Well, I'm a little bit acoustic, as they say. It's okay. It's okay. A little, a little bit acoustic, as they say. So let's just take a look at this. You, you, you were born into a drastically different world. You were born into a world in which all your science teachers were well aware you were going to witness science, uh... Or, I mean, you were going to witness climate change in your lifetime. And they let you know that. I was not born into that world. So, you know, uh, yeah. You know, my memory might be a little better. Well, here's the thing. Everybody in your generation, the millennials, looks like they're in their 20s. Everybody in their 20s who's Gen Z looks like we're in their 40s because of the fucking stress. <laughs> yeah! We've, we, 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 we've had, a, we've had, undi we've had, we've been stressed about the future since fucking... We were like eight years old, and we've had no reprieve. So. We we just we just had our future robbed from us at eighteen and gave up. <laughs> yeah, well, we didn't even get, we, we we like most of us didn't even get ahead before we completely lost all hope for the future for the uh, first time. So, whatever. You guys know I mean, what? Juicy see, is? I'm still lingering on to that. Be all all you can be. You can be whatever you want to be when you grow up. Uh, you know, bullshit. So. That's that that's yeah. that like that 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 bullshit di died in the early two thousands. Mm -hmm. like, that that shit died with the Bush administration.
You guys know what Juneteenth is? It's a, it's a federal holiday, okay? We're celebrating the end of slavery. And that, look, there it is. There it is. Bravo. This is the first year, so they didn't attach a sale to it yet, but, you know, we're American. You know what I mean? Within five years, there will be Juneteenth sales, guaranteed. Every store, three-fifths off every item. Is Terrible. Except the cotton swabs. You pay an extra for the cotton swab. That's fucking terrible. That's great. Uh